Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Gina Mortensen. And I'm Kevin Mortensen. And we are here with our kids today, all four of them. <laughs> we brought them all. <laughs> it's no secret that the kids are out of school. Everybody's kind of being socially responsible. You're staying in your homes. Kids are doing school at home. How's that going? <laughs> Let's just say I'm not a school teacher. They'll do well in math, but <laughs> English? You know, I talked to my friend Chad who owns the Southern Utah Adventure Center and asked him, if, first off, if he's staying in business, or if they're staying open or how this is all affecting them. And he went down the kind of the list of everything they're doing to protect their customers, to prepare the machines. And I thought, you know, this is actually a pretty safe place where I could comfortably bring my family. Well, I want to find out what they've been doing. But more importantly, I want to get these kids out on a trail and out of my house. I agree. And so let's go find out what they've been doing to protect us and make it so that you can enjoy these trails just like we are today. Here at Southern Utah Adventure Center, we offer UTV rentals, dirt bike rentals, uh, personal watercraft, boats, uh, mountain bikes, and stand-up paddle boards. Before doing this business, me and my business partner loved riding ATVs, dirt bikes, loved camping, and just started it from there. All the machines, when they come back, we uh, are cleaning and sterilizing steering wheels, shifters, doors, seats, helmets that get used, they get disassembled and washed. Just please make sure uh, if, if anyone in the family or has any kind of a sickness, cold, cough, Unfortunately, probably don't come in, so we don't take a chance of spreading. Make sure you're keeping your equipment clean and sanitized. Just respect others, keep your distance. You know, the six foot rule. Um, that way everyone can, we can keep everything still open and having a good time for everybody. So one of the things we're learning with what's going on in the world is the importance of hygiene. And these guys have always done that. They, they always keep their machines clean, they keep their helmets clean, and they really want us to come out here and have a great ride. It's nice to know that this is just a common practice, but yet emphasized a little bit more right now for our families to be safe and to get out and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. We didn't have this this morning and it's gorgeous right now. So no place I'd rather be than out here, definitely not teaching kids. And science. we don't want to be cliche about social distancing, but look, this is social distancing. We're in a safe place for breathing clean air. We've got our kids outdoors. We're in a sanitized machine. We're clean. We're having a great time. You're absolutely right. But while we're out here enjoying this beautiful place, let's send you to this week's Where To. Perched in the hills of beautiful Heber Valley sits Jordan L Reservoir. With three stunning recreation areas and several campgrounds, this state park has everything you need for a perfect family adventure. Jordan L is one of the top state parks in Utah. Um, we have um, five campgrounds, five RV campgrounds, two tent campgrounds, one of them being one that you have to hike into. We have a hiking trail that goes around, almost around the entire perimeter of the lake. It's called the Perimeter Trail. It's a great recreation area. Whether you plan on spending a day, weekend, or more, Jordanelle offers some of the best picnicking, camping, boating, fishing, or hiking that you will find in the great state of Utah. We have a beautiful public beach area with a playground and um, cabana facilities on the beach that you can rent. Um, the people are great. Um, it, it, just everything, everything about Jordanelle. The beautiful mountains we have, the reservoir itself, um, our beaches, it, the, our lawns, everything. It's just so well maintained. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. On top of all of this, their one-of-a-kind aqua zone is bound to be the hit of your trip. So my husband and I really wanted to bring a water sport cl um, close to Utah. We were from Miami and we really thought that Utah needed some sort of fun water sport activity, so we wanted to start something new and fresh here and keep the kids and family active. There's monkey bars, trampoline, there's oh, oh, like a 
running type of curb course. There's a, a bouncing where you bounce off of it. Um, people love that. There's a big iceberg people climb and jump off of, all sorts of activities to do. Essentially, it's kind of a big blow up obstacle course. And on top of the incredible AquaZone, they have rentals for almost every activity. There is uh, paddleboard rentals, and then there is kayaks, and then they also have boat and uh, jet ski rentals. This breathtaking state park is sure to be a hit with your family. Well, especially in Utah, a lot of our attractions is uh, outdoorsy, and uh, I, I think it's great for people to come out here and experience the outdoors and to be outside and play and be active, and that's just a lot of fun. I think that's good for everyone to do. Oh, I love the scenery, I love the views, I love the water. I've been a, a boater and a camper my whole life and love this environment. This is a great place for families. Um, people often ask me, is it more for kids or more for adults? And I actually think kids and adults love this equally. And as a family, everybody seems to have a blast and enjoy their day and it's worth the, the time and the money spent. It's a really, really good activity. So, when it's time for your next family adventure, head to Jordanelle State Park. For At Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase. KNM takes terrain domination to a whole new level by partnering with Fox to introduce Smart Shocks, the industry's first fully self-adjustable suspension technology. This enhanced system works seamlessly to prevent excessive squat during hard acceleration, reduce body roll, and improve traction and stability while cornering, and reduce weight transfer while braking. The Can-Am Smart Shocks technology delivers the ultimate performance, control, and comfort on any terrain. Sick of staying home? Getting outside and exploring great open spaces is now more important than ever. Spend your summer exploring Tula Valley, where there is so much so close. Plan your escape now at TulaValley.org. This What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. Hunting season's here. Is your rig ready? Come and see us. Hi everyone, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Sam the Gadget Girl, and today I'm here with Clint from Rhino Hitch, and he's gonna show us these absolutely revolutionary hitches. Hey Clint, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, so tell me a little bit about what sets this hitch apart from other hitches. What this hitch does and it allows you to do is to be able to adjust your hitch very quickly by just pulling a pin and going up and down. The other benefit to it is the fact that you can adjust your trailer while it's still hooked up to the trailer. You will have your trailer coupler on here. You'll either use your jack to go up or down to level out your load. The reason why you want your load level is because you get uneven wear on your tires and you could fish tail. All right, so what is this little rubber cover for? So what this does is it protects the shank when you're not using the ball system. What it is is it's a converter ball system. You just take this off, you put it on there, just a quick change. If you ever need to change it, you use your cotter pin to move it out. Wow. Do the other one. 
So pretty much this hitch is perfect. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd really like to see it in action. Okay. All right, well, let's see this bad boy in action. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the pin. Then we're gonna use, use the jack. We're gonna crank it up. Oh, wow. And what this does is if you're loading something on there that is maybe too heavy that you've never done before, or you want to get something on and off a trailer, it's going to safely do it. And then if we want to go down with it, we just let her down. I have never seen a hitch that can do that before. One of the benefits that I have noticed when I first started using the uh, hitch was the fact that I was not hitting the jack on my trailer anymore. Most trailers have a really close nose jack. And this hitch allows it to get out just enough so it will clear it. So you said that all of these are made here, correct? Yep, they're made right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Can we go check out how that's done? Yes, we can. All right. All right, this is where it all happens. So tell me a little bit about the process here. So what we'll do is we'll take our stock material, we'll put this in the saw, cut it down to its uh, desired width, which this one is a two inch. Okay. Perfect hitch size. <laughs> exactly. And what we'll do from there is we'll put it in the mill. We'll mill it, drill it, get it ready to go to anodizing. And this is what the finished product looks like after everything's said and done. And that's perfect and it's it'll help it from getting corroded, right? Yes. Perfect. Today we've gotten to see all about these incredible hitches. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming in. Um, we got to see today how these are made and really what these hitches can do. And if people want to find out more, what should they do? You can go on Amazon or go on rhinohitch.com or come visit us at 39 South and 449 East. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. We'll be right back with more at your leisure. Reason number 13 to spend the night in Duchesne County. Experience the serenity of your own Red Rock Canyon with a private fishing retreat to Falcon's Ledge Resort. Eight fishing lakes, world-class rivers, fishing guides, and plenty of room to accommodate groups of all sizes. Discover all the other reasons to spend the night in Duchesne County at uintabasin.org. Hey honey, have you seen this tire? Do you think we'll make it? Not on that thing. Don't let bad tires ruin your trip. With service stations at every location along I-15, we can get you back on the road with fast, friendly, professional service. Eagle's Landing has everything you need along the way. Even the things you didn't know you'd need. Get ready for the road at Eagle's Landing. Dear Diary, we went camping for our vacation on Tusher Lake. We did so many fun things. You know, I learned something on this trip. Camping on Tusher Lake is way more fun than any old mouse in an amusement park. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Look at those kids up there having a good time. They're having a blast out here. I know, it's a beautiful day and a wonderful place to be. And I just can't think of a better place to spend a Saturday. We had, we've been on the rock crawling side of this trail. Yes, we spent a lot of fun um, going really fast in the sand, but <laughs> the rocks, a little technical, it's right? kind of my fun. I, you know, I grew up on the sand dunes and, and, and riding Yamaha banshees and ripping up the sand dunes, but the rock crawling is a new thing to me for from you know living in Utah, and it's just different. 
it, it is. It's just a different experience. Same machine, different experience. You know, if you ever want to get out here and see this area you, and, you, and you're a little nervous about it, our friends at the Southern Utah Adventure Center have guides. They know their way around. And our guide from Southern Utah Adventure Center has taken us on some really great lines today. He started off on the dunes, had a lot of fun ripping it out there. And now he's got us on the backside on the rocks and the technical stuff. Let's go check it out. I like being able to bring people out here just because it's second nature to me, but for somebody else that's never done it before, they feel like they're in good hands. Today we did a little bit of different riding. We started off in the sand dunes, definitely pick up a little bit more speed through there. It's fun, you got sand berms, some whoops, uh, it's definitely a fast paced area. Uh, we worked our way up into some pretty extreme rock crawling, you know, uh, we got to the feature called the squeeze. It's just a narrow slot canyon. So driving through the squeeze, definitely a tight fit. Uh, the machines barely make it. You got to keep all your arms uh, inside the vehicle. Well, after the squeeze, we got to some big ledges that you definitely got to pick a right line on there or else you'd have to find yourself flipping over. You know, when the tire comes off the ground, everybody kind of grabs onto their handholds. So when people start going down the obstacles, they can compare it to like a roller coaster. Uh, you get the butterfly effect in your stomach. You guys just come on down to Southern Utah Adventure Center. We can take you out on a ride. You'll have a blast. If you think that looked amazing, you should come here and try it yourself. Yeah, no kidding. Call our friends at the Adventure Center down in Hurricane. Get a machine or bring your own machine down here. You know, the one thing I've noticed is that everywhere we go, there's been a view. Beautiful, gorgeous <laughs> view. <laughs> because that's St. George. Back over there is Warner Valley. Right over there is the sand dunes in the lake, and it's just amazing. I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what's over that hill. Well, why don't we go check that out, and the rest of you can go to Our Along the Way, which is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV. Even though summer is winding down to an end, it doesn't mean the fun has to be over. And one perfect final hurrah before the weather cools down completely is the Nightlights Lantern Festival happening in Tooele County. This family fun event offers a chance to sit down by the fire, enjoy the encroaching dusk hour, and begin the fall season with an awe-inspiring send-off. So five years ago, um, the first Lantern Festival, as I know, came to America, and it was just essentially bringing the idea of the lantern, this type of floating lantern release to America. So um, that was kind of the idea, and we kind of evolved the idea to bring in live music, family-friendly things, fire pits, s'mores, just a really good evening for the entire family to come out to. It's an awesome experience. I love it. Get to come out, enjoy something cool, be with the people you love. And if you're concerned about social distancing, this is the perfect time to enjoy the Lantern Festival as it takes up a huge space at the Utah Motorsports Campus with enough room for you to pick out your own spot and camp out. So like we have a huge space out here and this kind of always works like democratically. Like people can kind of sit wherever they want. They kind of fill in the spaces. Um, strangers start talking to each other, um, but it's kind of set up for people to come out, set up some blankets or chairs, put a little campfire out, roast some s'mores, have a picnic, um, and then kind of hang out until it gets dark. So we sell all those things here. So we sell the, the, the fire pit in here. We sell the s'mores fixings in here. Essentially just people really just need to bring out a blanket or something to sit on. Um, and then there's food here and everything you need for the entire evening should be here. I think it's fun. It kind of reminds me, it's like just an open time. Everyone's having a good time. So I like it a lot actually. It's pretty fun, so yeah. During the camp out, everyone is invited to decorate their lanterns as they see fit. For some, this is a heartwarming and joyous experience, and others, a cathartic activity to help release things that they've been hanging on to. So we give everyone a lantern, we give everyone a marker, and they're allowed to kind of turn that lantern to whatever they want to turn it into. Um, some people will, will write, you know, wishes for the coming year. Some people will write things that they're letting go of. Some people will write goals. Some people will commemorate the lives of loved ones that passed away on it. So every lantern is kind of unique in that the person who comes here puts whatever they want to put into the lantern. Um, <laughs> I just put that I love my wife and I'll let her explain hers. All and right. then I drew our, I wrote our names and then I drew our family a fish right now. <laughs> Maybe yeah, kids at some point, eventually. but right now we just have some fish and some snails. <laughs> of course, the Nightlights Festival would be nothing without the lantern release, which is something so magical and special to be a part of, you'll have to witness it with your own eyes.
I've been out to probably personally 50 of these things, and every single time it moves me. Um, it's, it's hard to explain, and it's actually hard to capture in images, but it's a very powerful experience. And for a moment, everybody's on the same page, which I think today in the world is a pretty rare thing to have. One thing is certain. The memories you create with friends and family at the Nightlights Lantern Festival will be cherished for a lifetime. And because the Nightlights happens every year, you can make this a tradition and keep the good times coming. This was on my bucket list of things to do, so we're here enjoy making the most of it. I'm having oh, a blast. So, yeah. If he's having a blast, then yes, we will come back. Absolutely. <laughs> no matter who you go with, make this year's change of the seasons worth remembering. Tooele County will be hosting the Nightlights Lantern Festival this month on September 25th and 26th. You can head over to nightlightsevent.com for more information and to see about purchasing tickets. We can't wait to see you out there. For At Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase. Yes, the great outdoors is wide open. So why not make the most of it? Expand your family's freedom with the off-road's best. Like the only built-in GPS that doesn't require a cell connection and group tracking that lets you spread out on the trail, but stay together for the journey. Polaris, think outside. Coming down into the little valley and stuff, you can look over the whole thing. For me, I can just feel the, the stress just kind of melt away. There's so many trails to go up on and, and explore. The desert and then you've got the lake, you got the mountains. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a little piece of paradise out here. Pretty much anybody that I've brought up here, they will ask, can we come back? At Stedman's Recreation, trucks are arriving daily with back-ordered side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes. Let Stedman's Recreation help get you outside so you can explore and create memories to last a lifetime. Call or stop by Stedman's to hold your side-by-side, -side, ATV, or dirt bike with a small deposit. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full service department and Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We've been following Braden around all day today, and you want to know what? I, I think it's time we decide and find out who's the better driver. Are you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it, man. Bring it on. Well, I'm chalking that up to home field advantage. He's clearly the better driver and he won that one. Let's send you guys off to check out, speaking of winners, who who's taking home this week's sticker winner prize. This week's contest winner was spotted on the trail a few weeks ago in his license plate number W99RX. Congratulations, it looks like you're the lucky winner of a $400 gift certificate to Rifab. Rifab offers the best custom metal fabrication for your rig. Visit ryfab.com for more details. And be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now let's take a look at our calendar of events. First off, September is getting the spook started early as Asylum 49 in the Tooele Valley will be opening on the 18th and running through November 14th. 
Then, September 26th, the Bluebell Corn Maze gets kicked off with their annual fun run for charity, which starts a whole mess of fall fun, including pumpkin patches, haunted trails, and a corn maze. Also on September 26th in Tooele Valley is the Night Lights Lantern Festival, which is an awe-inspiring experience that you definitely won't want to miss. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Chad and Scott Huntsman get out and hit the open road as they get to test drive a unique vehicle that is manufactured right here in Utah. Then the AYL crew is joining state and county officials as they visit a unique trail in southern Utah that really allows you to play in the mud. And finally, Reese Stein joins a group of wildlife volunteers on the middle section of the Provo River as they help out with a fish roundup. Well, next week's show looks great. Yeah, it does. Don't miss it. Did you have a good time today? Yes, I did. Yeah, I think we had a great time out here. Thank you to Southern Utah Adventure Center for letting us come out, using their machines, providing the guide, and taking us around and showing us the area. It was a wonderful way to spend our day. I can't say it enough. I'd rather have been out here enjoying my social distance from other people and enjoying my children and not being their teacher. <laughs> and I think it's really important that we, we make that point that while we were out today, we proved that you can be outside and still follow those health protocols that have been set forth by the State Department of Health and the Governor's Office Coronavirus Task Force. We practice good social distancing by staying six feet away from other people. Um, our machines were sanitized. Our kids have washed their hands how many times today? Numerous. A lot. I mean, <laughs> and it, it's just little things like that, that that make it so we can feel like we're being safe, we're being healthy. We don't want our kids to get sick. But it proves that being outside is the healthiest place you can be. And there's something for everyone doesn't matter what age you are, get out and enjoy this beautiful state that we live in. And look what I got sitting behind me here. You know, summer's right around the corner and these guys rent these personal watercraft also. I can't wait to get out on these this summer. I would love the opportunity to spend some time in a warm <laughs> destination with some water. Look, we got a little bit of sun coming out. That's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for joining us. We hope you had a great time. We hope you get out here and, and follow in our tracks and remember, there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At, At your leisure. leisure.